Okay, Psalms chapter 80. To the chief musician upon Shothanim Judith, Psalm of Asaph, Psalm of Calamity, the anger of God upon Israel. Give ear, O shepherd of Israel. That's Jesus Christ, John 10. He's talking to the Messiah. Thou that leadest Joseph, one of the tribes of Israel, like a flock. That's what a shepherd does. Leads Israel. Thou that dwellest between the cherubim, the most holy place. And there are cherubims in heaven, four of them. Shine forth, let your light shine. Jesus said, I am the light. <clears throat> they kind of knew who Jesus was. Scriptures foretell. Behold Ephraim, tribe of Israel, and Benjamin, and Manasseh, stir up their strength, and come and save us. Jehovah save. That's the name of Jesus. Jesus comes to bring light. Turn us again, O God, shepherd, salvation, light, O God. Well, guess who Jesus is? And because thy face to shine, and cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. Who's going to save the nation of Israel? Who saves people today? Jesus. God. O Lord God of hosts, how long wilt thou be angry against the prayer of thy people? Well, they still got a period of time calling Jacob's trouble. Seven years. To the nation of Israel gets right and repents. And God gives them a new heart. New covenant. Thou feedest them with the bread of tears. Well, sin. There was no tears in the garden to ease sin. Sorrow. The wages of sin is death, and the wages of sin is sorrow, pain, suffering. Genesis 3. And give us them tears to drink in thy great increase, in great in that measure. Marking my Bible sometimes is bad. Anxiety, depression, because they sinned against God. Anxiety and depression may be one of many results or complications of sorrow brought on by sin and disobedience to God, amongst other things. You can't expect to sin against God and have a joyful, wonderful, though that's what the modern theology is. Thou makest us to a strive unto our neighbor. Well, you're supposed to be that lighthouse, Israel. Fighting. They're still fighting with their neighbors today. God told him, go in the land and wipe them all out. Joshua and Judges, they didn't. And our enemies laugh among themselves. Well, there are a lot of Jewish jokes out there. Turn us again. Repent. That's what repentance means. Turn. Lord, stop having us go down that way of anger, O God of hosts, and cause thy face to shine again, he says, and we shall be saved, he says again. How oh, verily, verily. Thou hast brought a vine out of Egypt, that's Israel. 
And Paul sees of that vine that's grafted in. That's us. Unto Jesus Christ. Thou hast cast out the heathen. Not all of them. And planted it. John 15, 1 through 7. But they became a wild vine and brought forth wild and sour grapes. Thou preparest room before it and didst cause it to take deep root, the vine, and fill the land. So many Israelites. The hills were covered with the shadow of it, the vine, Israel, and the boughs thereof, like the good, goodly cedars, a lot of them, many, tall, strong, a good scent to the Lord. She sent out her bows into the sea, Mediterranean, maybe the Dead Sea, and her branches unto the river, Brady, Jordan. Egypt. They went back to Egypt. They weren't supposed to. Why hast thou then broken down her hedges? Well, it's thin. Hedges is protection. Hedges say, this is mine, this is yours. It's a natural fence. So that all they which pass by the way, I wonder who the way is, do pluck her. Israel has no more protection of God. And, God, and the enemies come by and they they take a pick. They take a poke. They take a jab. They attack Israel. They enter into the land. The boar out of the wood does waste it. The land of Israel. And the wild beast of the field does devour it. She's eaten up by her enemy. Animals are overpowering. That's what's happening now with coronavirus. These animals are coming out of the woodwork and taking over. Return, we be beseech thee, O God. Why don't you return? You're the one who's supposed to repent. God didn't do nothing. Look down from heaven. That's where God is in heaven. And behold and visit this vine. He did. He came unto his own and his own received him not. And Jesus wept over Jerusalem, knowing that in 70 AD, she will be destroyed again. And then you'll have a period of time called Jacob's trouble. And the vineyard which thy right hand, that's Jesus, has planted. It's already planted. Had to be replanted. And the branch that thou made it strong for thyself. It is burnt with fire. Paul says it's been cut off. We are grafted in. Into that vine. Into that branch. The branch that thou made it strong for thyself is burnt with fire. It is cut down. They perish at the rebuke of thy cutness. At the, at the look of God, they, they're gone. Let thy hand be upon the man of thy right hand. The man of thy right hand. I wonder who that is. Upon the son of man. I wonder who that is. That's a proper name given to Jesus. Whom thou madest strong for thyself. That's Jesus Christ. So will not we go back from thee. After Jesus Christ comes back, he's going to give him a new heart, new spirit. Quicken us, make us alive. We will call upon thy name in the millennium. Turn us again. they got to be turned around by God. Jacob's trouble. O Lord God of hosts, again, cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved.